The Structure of Persuasive Copywriting Learn some of the basic principles and a formula you can use to craft a sales message by following a step-by-step -step instruction with a demonstration. The 10 Magic Building Blocks of Sales Copy Headline Opening Credentials Offer Bullets Testimonials Third-Party Verification Value Justification The Problem Solution Scale Risk Reversal Guarantee or Promise Call to Action Urgency Why do I want to buy now? This is the formulaic approach to crafting sales copy. 1. Headline Effective Headline Writing Strategies State the claim as a question. Would you like to make 50000 100000 or even half a million in the highly lucrative real estate market in British Columbia? New subject headline. Discover the life-changing career where you control your schedule and you determine the lifestyle for you and your family. In the headline, insert the most emotionally charged ideas. Don't describe the exact product you're selling, but appeal to the customer's motivation for needing the product. On squeeze pages, lead with the benefit and a video. Understand that your customer never reads anything at first, never believes anything at first, and never does anything at first. So you have to lead with something that captures their attention in the first step. The purpose of the headline is not to sell, but to get them to read the first paragraph. The purpose of the first paragraph is to get them to read the second paragraph. That's it. You want to take your customers through this logical sequence. If you are holding their attention, there are three things they're going to do next on your website. Skim, scroll, and scan. When they scroll through and see the media, videos and pictures first, or some of the bigger words, whatever jumps out. Two, opening. Besides your headline, now you have your opening. The opening sets the criteria from whom the copy is intended for and what they stand to gain by reading it. Now that you've captured their attention with the opening paragraph, Move on to explaining what your product, service, or website page is about. Some of the best ways to do the opening paragraph is sometimes leading with a question or a vivid picture to make the reader imagine. For example, imagine setting up your own schedule and making more money from a single deal than you're making in a whole year working for someone else. Imagine earning your current income, then adding a side income, working part-time if you choose to. Here's the key with the example. You are entering the conversation that's going on in their head. Should I take real estate? Should I change careers? How should I do it? What are the steps? Is it difficult? Does it take long? Put yourself in their shoes. They might also be thinking, I know that the booming BC real estate industry is a highly lucrative market, but how can someone like me with no prior education in real estate, no skills and no experience earn in a year? Good question. Then you go into the money. Three, credentials. Why should I listen to you? Why should I listen to what this person has to say? To answer these type of questions, you need to establish credibility. In this part, it's okay to talk about yourself a little bit. Talk a little bit about your credentials, your expertise, and the clients you have had. Now you've hooked them in with a headline and the opening. Now you are in the right place to answer their question, who are you? You can talk about what you do. In this case, you tell them why they should go to BC Real Estate School. For over 12 years, we've had the most successful real estate licensing program in BC with over 1,500 successful students. Make sure to not use your fake numbers. Then include a short video and talk about what makes you different from your competitors. 4. Offer Offer your solution to the customer's problem. What exactly do you do? What is the customer going to gain by buying what you have? For example, we offer the most flexible and convenient class options to help you become successful ASAP. If you cannot come to live classes or you have a very busy schedule, enroll in our online class option. The best copy anticipates the objections that your prospects might have. You handle them ahead of time. You already answered the questions or objections, such as the school being too far. In that case, you offer them an online class so they can study remotely. If they're reading your copy, it should incite a response of how did you know that? How did you know what I was thinking? When you answer all potential questions in advance, it makes your prospects feel more comfortable. 5. Bullets A bullet is a brief statement that identifies a single benefit offered by your product or service. For example, here's what you get with our all-access School BC Success classes. 
Feature, easy to use. Benefit, simplified chapter summaries that give exactly what you need for the exam and reduces your study time by months and reduces your stress. The Math Bible has the answer to every math question on the exam. Yours to keep and help you make money while you're making deals after your exam. The done for you answer key for your 20 mandatory assignments required before taking your exam. You are guided every step of the way and you're given the correct answers. Go BC mock exams. Comes with real life questions, updated it on a monthly basis with the most recent exam. Six, testimonials. Provide third party verification that your solution does what it claims to do. I'm a consumer. I'm skeptical. How do I know you're telling the truth? As far as I'm concerned, I just stumbled upon you online. I see your website. How do I know you are not going to take my money and run? I don't know. I'm not comfortable giving you my credit card information. To answer these doubts, provide some testimonials. What have other people experienced? What can other people say about your product and services? Ideally, you should have video testimonials. If you cannot get video testimonials, then get written testimonials attached with a picture. The more specific and detailed the review, the better. A fleshed out testimonial would include the full name, the city they're from, and their occupation. The more specific, the more detailed, the more credible. Testimonials are powerful. Seven, key value justification. People like to weigh their options. They always have this scale in their mind to compare their options. So you want to talk about how valuable your product, service, or solution actually is to the user. Highlight the value of your offer and do it in a way that contrasts the price in a favorable way. Meaning, how can you make it a no-brainer for them? How can you make it so that they can easily justify the price? Or make it so that it's easy? How can you get them to say, this is a no-brainer, I want to do this? Here's an example of how to do it. A shocking 63% of students who register for the UBC real estate exam never show up for the exam and they don't even try. How could this be true? You have to study 1,000 pages of information just to pass the exam. This is how much you need to study. UBC gives you a 1,000 page textbook and 20 mandatory assignments to complete. You can strategically show different pictures with small fonts and passive writing style, which is boring. The point is to show how much stuff they have to go through. They will think, I want to make money in real estate, but I have to go through 1,000 pages of stuff. I don't want to go through that. Then show them how what you have is the faster, easier option. Eight, risk reversal. The longer your guarantee, the more orders you'll get and the less likely that you'll receive refund requests. Risk reversal is one of the biggest objections from entrepreneurs. I'm afraid if I offer guarantees, people would take advantage of me and they would send back my products. I will get ripped off. The truth is, all of those worries are guaranteed to happen anyway, but you also get much more sales. Does it really matter if you're getting a few refunds when you've also increased your sales volume significantly? It is truly irrelevant. If your refund rate is so high that it affects your profitability, then that simply means your product or service needs to be improved. If you believe in what you sell, stand behind it and go ahead and offer the guarantee. Nine, call to attention. Now that you've made your case, made your sales argument, captured their attention, established credibility, and shown them that other people just like them have experienced results, they can finally see exactly how you're going to solve their problem. At this point, you wanna make ordering as easy and obvious as possible. You want them to call you, give them a toll-free number in big print, you want them to click on a link that is obvious and clickable as possible. Make it easy and obvious to buy and take action. Don't make assumptions about what your customers are aware of. Make sure to add in your copywriting things like in the comfort of your home or office at a time that works for you. Or clearly tell them the feature. You can take it online. Then also reassure them just to make sure they fully get it. You can do this from home. Make everything obvious. 10. Urgency. Now that the customer knows the price and they want to buy, why would they want to buy now? That's what's missing in most offers. Because people procrastinate, give a deadline on when to take action. Otherwise, if a customer thinks about something too long, they end up not buying after all. Procrastination kills sales. Summarize the offer and give them the other value, the bonuses they're going to get. In your limited offer, you can say that the discounted rate can only be offered within a specific date range before it expires. 
Some examples, time scarcity, four days left. Quantity scarcity, four spots left, booked seven times today, four people viewing right now. You missed it. We reserved our last available room at this property. Our availability in blank is low on your dates. Lock in a great price before it's too late. Number of bookings for the past 30 days, few spots left. You can use this on an email autoresponder. When you are contacted via a form online, set up an autoresponder that says, thank you for providing your information in the contact form, or thank you for getting in touch with me. For the past 48 hours, I've had just blank amount of people get in touch with me, so there's no guarantee that I can respond to you right away. Then put a lot of social proof and scarcity in the autoresponder. Make sure your copy follows a logical sequence. The results from this copy went from three students a month to 45 new students in October alone. That is a 1,500% increase, even though October is not supposed to be a great month. That is the power of your written words and having mastered the skill of copywriting. Knowing that this is a skill that you now have in your toolkit, you can go out already being more prepared than most business owners.